All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Right now, we are in our Volvo S40. Um, as you can see on the dashboard here, there's only one warning light showing. It is the airbag warning light. And to find out what the problem is with the airbag warning light, we're going to use the Autel MaxiDiag EU702, which is good for European vehicles such as uh, Mercedes, BMW, Vauxhall, uh, Opel, Volvo, VW, and Audi. Um, so we're going to go in and we're going to select the Volvo section here. I'm going to select our vehicle. It will diagnose a wide range of vehicles, but um, we're in an S40, so that's what we need to select from the option. And it's a 2000 model that we're in. 2000, so we're okay to that. And here it's giving us the uh, system that it will allow us to diagnose. So we have the petrol, which is the engine, uh, the TCM, which is transmission control module, ABS, which is anti lock brake system, and SRS, which is the S uh, supplemental restraint system, also known as the airbags. So we'll click OK to the SRS. It's giving us a little bit of information about the, uh, the part number for the airbag. And what we're going to want to do here is click on read codes. So it should give us an airbag fault code. If it will connect. There we go, it has connected. So we've got uh, a permanent, that's the PERM, uh, fault code of 0085. And it's a left SIPS bag signal missing. So it's left SIPS's side impact protection system. Um, it's a famous airbag system within Volvo vehicles only. Um, so it looks like, with it saying signal missing, it looks like there is a fault somewhere within the uh, the connection or the, the connector may have come apart, uh, the wire may have come apart somewhere along the line. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, the wiring system uh, and just have a look under the seat to see if we can find any signs of uh, the connection coming apart or any uh, loose sort of wiring. Uh, we'll see if we can put that back together. Then once we've done that, we'll come back into the vehicle and we should be able to erase the trouble codes and then remove the airbag light from the dashboard. So we'll, uh, we'll come back very soon. All right, so we're back in the vehicle now. Um, having looked under the passenger's side seat, we did manage to find um, what looked to be a faulty and sort of loose connection there. Um, and there was a bit of sort of shard plastic on the floor, so we're not exactly sure how that's happened. Um, but it looks like we have we have managed to put the connection back together. And what we're going to do now is turn the engine on to see if it will automatically turn off the airbag warning light. Some vehicles, uh, once you do an airbag repair, will automatically turn off the airbag light. Some won't. So we'll have a look and see what the uh, the Volvo system does. Okay, so the engine started there. Airbag light did flash once, but it is staying on there. Um, I don't suspect that's too much of a problem because, as I say, we can use this EU702 tool to go ahead and turn off the airbag light. So, um, into SRS again. While I'm doing this, keep one eye on um, what I'm doing on the screen and one eye on the airbag warning light itself because that would be a good indication. Um, so we're gonna go straight in and erase trouble codes. I'm gonna keep an eye on the airbag warning light. Ignition on and engine stopped. Well, we have the engine running actually, but we're just gonna click yes. Uh, please read codes first of all. So read codes. Okay, so we know that code is there. Now we're gonna try and erase the code. Raise code command sent and as you saw there the airbag light has disappeared from the dashboard uh, so this tool the maxi diag eu702 has been successful in doing exactly what we wanted it to do um, so the hotel maxi diag eu702 is available just by clicking the link directly below this video and thanks for watching this video it is suitable as you just saw for turning off the airbag light on Volvos. Thanks for watching.